I'm just going to get to the crunch of the matter, okay, everybody? The crunch of the matter is, if you're not happy and sad in life, you got to make some big changes in your life. And you have to be start to be honest with yourself is the number one thing in my spiritual teachings. The teachings of the spirituality, the crown chakra, the, the, the third eye, the spiritual world, the real, real stuff. When it comes to the crunch, you got to be honest with yourself and instead of and face your fears. Be honest about your fears and your programming and your, your addictions and your attachments. Your hope, your attached, unrealistic or destructive negative hopes or desires and uh, attachments. Now, so a lot of us these days are actually miserable because we're just being selfish in a negative way, as in we're not doing anything to contribute to other people's happiness. We're just thinking about ourselves only. And conversely, a lot of us are actually sad and miserable because we're people pleasing and we're not thinking about ourselves properly. We're, we don't want to disappoint others. We sacrifice and exhaust ourselves. We're caregivers and enablers of other people's habits to the neglect and abandonment of our own. So it's a mixture. I'd really recommend having a total holistic approach. It's easier to eat healthy when you're emotionally feeling good. It's easier to feel emotionally good when you're eating healthier. But it gets complicated when you start to feeling emotionally stressed in life and upset or traumatized then you start to eat worse like processed foods and junk foods and heavier foods that that actually tend to sedate you or else sometimes stimulate you like coffee or like hot spices or even drugs um, to get a fix it's either sedation a fix from sedation or a fix from stimulation you know, jazzed up. So that's what drugs and food do for us. Um, so how I recommend tackling it, everybody, is to take a multi-pronged holistic approach of body, mind, spirit, especially centering around spiritual and emotional stuff. Um, so you have to let go of the baggages from the past. A lot of us get sick or diseases from long-term emotional, unprocessed baggage we're holding on like a big huge weight ball and chain around our neck so it's essential for the avoidance of stuff like cancer and diabetes and liver problems and heart problems and brain issues everything um, to do consider emotional healing absolutely 100% as well as the physical okay when it comes to the physical healing Balance and nature and the body's own natural self-healing function is what makes us get better again, okay? So to get rid of the unbalances from doing too little or too much, that's where that's how you understand balance. You can either do too little of something, like too little exercise, too little healthy, good quality, nutrient-rich food. Um, let's go here, guys. Hear the birds. Too little it's time to de-stress and to relax and to unwind or too little rest, too little sleep. Um, too little herbal medicine possibly if that's what you need. It depends on what you need and it's different for everybody. Some people need more calories or nutrients depending on their stress or activity level or how big their body is as well or small or petite. Another thing people do too much of is too much activity, burning themselves out, too much stress. Stress is one of the worst things you can have. It affects you mentally, emotionally, cellularly, systematically, all of your systems, your brain, your functioning of your organs, um, your nutrient absorption and utilization, everything really. So, Happiness on the other hand, and I, I want to recommend and promote fulfillment, spiritual and mental and emotional contentment and satisfaction in life. So, for example, if the person who wrote me that letter or another person, if you're watching this now and you find that you're like in a bad place, an unhappy place in life, I'd recommend watching this video, highly recommend this about self-love, how to actually practice self-love, actually, realistically, truly, physically, in real life. 
because a lot of us, including me in the past, could say, yeah, I love, I like myself, I love myself. But then you don't know how to do it. And you see, one thing that I say sometimes is how happy you are in life is actually a reflection of how well you understand and then practice self-love. So that's a very simple gauge, like how really happy or not are you in life? And that's also a sign of how much you understand what self-love is all about. And secondly, and most importantly also, how well you're actually practicing it in all areas of your life. Um, self-love, self-nurture. And part of this is also knowing thyself, as Socrates would say, to understand and know yourself and what you need and want in life, what your true heartfelt, authentic inner desires are. Because if you don't know your true heartfelt, authentic inner desires, how are you supposed to be able to look after, manage, and and do and live out those things that make you make you sing and make your heart feel bursting and alive and joyful, make your spirit soar? Like even just being out here feels better than being in there because being in nature there's a lot of healing energy and I, I, I call nature anything inside of the house basically because right now I'm in I'm under the sky of mother nature I'm beside an apple tree I'm beside all these like flowers and plants I'm getting the fresh air of Gaia over there there's a mountain in the distance I have the daylight, natural daylight and then I'm standing on Mother, ne Mother Earth as well, so. So I'll just name a few things that you can do. Um, t you need to stop doing things that are negative, okay, in your life. You need to start doing things that are positive more. So stop doing, get rid of, throw out, stop seeing or stop going to the places which bring you down and make you feel unhappy, jittery, nervous, not good, okay? That's can be called negative. Start seeking out, looking for, writing to, corresponding to people, or going places that make you feel happy, joyful and excited. People who you find bring out the best in you all the time, that they encourage you, they inspire you, that they're positive role models. So let go the people who are negative embodiers they're not th deep down they're good spirits of course but temporarily in the physical they could carry and share a lot of negative negativity let go of these people what's the point of hanging on to them you can l i want to say something to you that you might not know okay acceptance acceptance is a feeling in your heart and so is love it's a feeling in your heart it's not necessarily an actual real life physical behavior so you can accept and love someone unconditionally but that doesn't mean you have to be physically literally hanging around with them all the time you can extend love and feel love in your heart from a distance to people wish them well wish them healing wish them to enjoy their own free will life of free will but you're actually abandoning yourself and neglecting yourself if you're going to be hanging around with people or spent living in or spending time in places that bring you down. Pubs, social occasions. You should, hour by hour, want to be uplifting your spirits and fulfilling your soul, so to speak, if you are actually attentively practicing self-love. Eating as healthy and carefully and gratefully and consciously as possible practicing appreciation and gratitude and praying and trusting highly recommend connecting more with the, the crown the, the spirit the, see there's two worlds okay there's the physical temporary human level of existence that's all temporary it comes and goes that's our personality our name our body and everything you see in the world that's all the things and the people that's all temporary physical and fleeting and passing okay and that has its place it's wonderful this I'll put a video here, another one, okay, so you can watch that, which explains it much more in detail. Then there's the spiritual perspective. That's the um, the long-term perspective, the, the everlasting perspective, the deeper truth, rather than the temporary, physical, human, limited mind perspective. 
So there's, for everything, there's a spiritual and physical perspective or a, a long-term bigger picture and a short-term, smaller, temporary passing picture. So the secret is to understand both ways, not to neglect one and not, or the other, and not to like puff up and make one too big and better than the other, which some spiritual teachings and traditions do inaccurately, in my opinion, completely. It's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You try to say, just because this plant is going to die, or just because my body will pass, then forget about it. Just like whip it, whip the body, like some traditions used to do. Don't give a crap about anything physical, including sex, because it's all like just screwed up teachings, to be honest, from people who still, still didn't know a lot of stuff about life. So, it's about the incorporation, integration of both at the same time. And that's how you live a masterful, fulfilled, powerful life of health, of body, mind, spirit and emotion, where you actually tune in to your higher, deeper self at the same time while living on the physical, temporary earth in your physical, temporary body and personality. It's extremely beautiful and powerful to live that way. More and more as you go along the journey. So that's what mastery is, and I've heard that from channels, channeled uh, messengers as well. Um, a huge part of being happy is letting go of what's holding you down from the past, your childhood wounds and traumas and conditioning, like your cultural and family beliefs. Have your parents been criticizing you or saying you can't do this, you can't be a singer, you can't be an artist, you have to be do this instead. And then you believe things, you take it on board. You can call them limiting beliefs and then so part of healing is to let go and recognize and to be self-honest with yourself about these things and to be vulnerable, naked, to share that and with yourself or with other people and to change your perspective, to go out and face your fears is a huge thing. Face your fears and stop living in the box of your comfort zone which I know will probably ring true so many people right now, you're like thinking, how do you know, Owen? This is like exactly what you're describing what I'm going through right now. I've been living in this shitty circumstance for ages and I'm unhappy and miserable. Maybe in my relationship, my marriage, it's just crap. So there's two things you can do if it's something you're living in a crap situation. And that's work to fix, change and heal it or separate from it. There's no point in staying for years and years and years and years and years and years in a terrible, unfulfilling, dissatisfying or even a destructive, or especially even an abusive relationship or habits or place that's really not suitable to you. Like for example, living in a city for some people is a nightmare, living in the country for another personality is a nightmare. It goes back to what I was saying earlier about self-knowledge, self like know thyself and then self-love in action. Steps daily. I really recommend a raw vegan diet, guys, strongly and powerfully. And when I say that, I don't mean all or nothing, which is the, the basic immature human mind or the human <laughs> it's like trying to say, like, if the human mind will say, oh, no, that's not a big fully grown tree. Fuck it doesn't matter it doesn't not good anymore that's like saying oh your diet's not 100 percent whatever you're not exercising 100 percent perfectly just like you're you're a waste of time <laughs> so we are like we're like we have the oak tree potential in us it's genetically and spiritually there like but we're all at different stages of growth from a little baby sapling to a bigger slightly small younger tree we're all growing and the secret is not to compare yourself to another person, but to simply compare yourself to where you were before and say, Oh, I'm doing a bit better now. Well done, Owen. Well done, me. Well done, you. I'm glad you're doing good. You're doing better than before. And well done. You know, life is, can be hard and it's challenging and it's good that way, spiritually. The big picture, it's meant to be. And all of your wounds and traumas and past experiences, by the way, um, on a human level, I'd love to say, it can be a very sad perspective sometimes hearing of the abuse and the pain. But then on the spiritual level, and you, you, you embrace both, by the way. You don't kill the human way by saying, oh, it's meant to be, and have no feelings of love or compassion or tenderness, you know. I, went, I suffered so much for the first, like, 
23 years of my life. And now I'm 33. But um, I had, uh, had a lot of hard things happen to me in life from the very start. Even only at 33 now, I'm overcoming something that was a, a massive loss from the age of 20 to 33. That's where my old, beautiful, lovely cat, Fluffy, is buried. I loved her so much and I still do, and maybe she's still with me, strongly in spirit. As I was told lately, some of my past on loved ones have are very involved in my life still. And you have your loved ones and angels and uh, spirit family with you too. So I want to say don't worry. Um, spiritually, everything that's happened to you in the past, even lately too, was meant to be for 100% good reason for your experience your adventure your deep rich experience and for also the potential for you to heal learn and grow from it and to make you'll just you'll grow as that as that apple tree you'll grow as a result and you'll become a fully fledged more fully fledged human being you're going to look back and be so happy with everything that happened in your life. Like, that's how I feel now, you know? I feel glad and I wouldn't take back one moment. Um, and from a human perspective, I can feel a bit of sadness there because I experienced a lot of sadness and loneliness in my life. Hurt and pain. But without them, I would not be me who I am today. Because I'm a deep feeling, loving, caring, compassionate person, a human, divine being. I'm now live. I'm now able to live more than I used to, from my divine nature, but in the physical world also at the same time. Um, you know, it's the hardships that stretch us and expand us and crack our shell, and we become a phoenix from the ashes, a new person. So, I encourage you finally just to seek help and healing. You know. I do one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching of body, mind, spirit and emotional healing, okay? I'm, I'm putting that out there. You can trust me. But I'm obviously not the only person out there who, who's working properly, passionately, sort of full-time to help other people. So there's energy healers on the internet and in your area probably. Go out and seek help. Spend money. I keep saying that to people. We spend money on anything in life, especially stuff that's destructive for us. And then we're hesitant to spend a lot of money on things that heal us. That's ridiculous, to be honest. It's a big joke. <laughs> no judgment, but I love speaking candidly too, as well as spiritually. <laughs> and it feels good, and that's why I'm laughing. Cause it's, like, it's very freeing to liberate the energy and let it flow. So you can actually speak cuss or curse or whatever you feel like doing that's like real and genuine in your heart <laughs> so I encourage healing as the number one priority in life if you want, if you want to grow and heal that's what I do it's like I spend money and um, I always just try and look at my own psyche and my heart and consider different elements all chakras and see where you might have any blocks and issues and the number one thing that will tell you you have an issue is when you have an emotional flare. Ah, the lovely birds. And that's when you can look within and say, what's my belief? What happened to me in the past that's making me feel this emotion? And you don't blame it on anybody else who's bringing, helping to bring up the emotion for you to see and to heal. So you look within and you... And you do a little bit of inner investigation into your mind and your psyche and your belief systems, your beliefs, or maybe your judgments as well. And then you, as you let go, you feel better emotionally. So your emotions are your helpers and your signals to help you, okay? So I'll end this video now. And if anyone's interested in further stuff of my work, or you'd like to work with me or collaborate with me or even interview me, I'm available and I'll be really passionate and grateful and, and like to work with others and to collaborate. Um, maybe even do workshops, talks, work with talks or seminars or online interviews. Um, I've written two books now, 
to help people and my most recent one I'm very proud of especially but the first one was harder work probably but the most recent I'd recommend emotional mastery it's about emotions and healing and emotional well-being I'll have more books in the future um, I have a lot of YouTube videos so please feel welcome to um, look at my videos, subscribe to the channel and if you like this please do, I ask you just to give it a like, it helps the YouTube search when you people like search for these topics and I think this could be a really good beneficial video, no? So I would really, really, really would appreciate it, at least give it a like or maybe a comment or both, it would help the search engine optimization and it would help promote this video and my work in my channel so I personally do thank you for doing that, okay? Um, um, I also have a herb shop called HigherSelfHerbs.com which you can see in the link below. You get 20% off first um, order after for, after you subscribe to the mailing list. So 20% off gives a nice reduction to try out some things. And you can see some of my most recommended or popular blends below the video also. I love herbs and superfoods, they really helped me to heal and get back on track when I lost my physical health in life. I also lost all my money. I lost loads of other stuff. <laughs> it's a great adventure here being on Fox Living on Earth. But anyway guys, we're all the same. So I send you my love and light. Kisses and hugs and thanks for your time and your energy, your positivity. I'll see you again another time. Take care and lots of love. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to hearing from you if you're inspired. And thanks for if you, if you feel like sharing with your friends or your family. Bye now. Have a lovely day.